That's the way I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. Welcome back to World Drum Club, everybody. I'm Kalani, and I'm going to speak to you right now as a music therapist. I just did a session with a group of people with uh, brain injuries, traumatic brain injuries, acquired brain injuries, stroke, different things, people in a treatment facility. And I want to share with you something that I did with them that you could do. It's very easy, simple, and effective that maybe you could do with a group of people just for fun. Now, the group of people that you do this with don't have to be in a treatment, and you wouldn't be doing music therapy unless you were a music therapist. But this is something that's simple, and I just want to share it with you because it was a lot of fun, and it was very effective, and we hit a lot of goals. We hit movement goals. We hit social goals. We hit uh, verbalizations, vocalizations, um, all sorts of things, and we infused the entire session with laughter and humor and good feelings, good vibes. So here's what I have for you in this video. I'm going to be showing you two little songs, two little snippets, and you just heard one of them, right? That's the way I like it, Casey and the Sunshine Band, um, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. These are just parts of, of disco tunes, and I will go, go to these sometimes just as a, as a easy thing that people can do. And, and the thing I like about these is they're just very easy and short, but they're effective and you can do a lot with them. And that's the kind of thing I like. Um, I like things like that. So let me get rid of the uh, cajon view. We don't need that right now. So I'm playing in cajon. That's what I was playing in the session. And I was just laying down a, a groove, right? doesn't really matter what you're playing. You could have a drum, you could clap your hands, stomp your feet, play a garbage can or something. It doesn't really matter if you have a nice sounding cone like this or not. Play any, dr any drum, any instrument, even a tambourine to keep a steady beat, all right? So that's the music foundation. The other element is simple, simple, simple elements of music, but that people recognize and they like. Right, so these are simple things. So that's the way uh, uh, I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. That's the way I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. Now there's a lot more words to that song. Not a whole lot, <laughs> but people people get that. So what I did with that one, and I'm going to show you another one too. But with this one, everybody was singing it. Right, sing it. I throw it out there, and everybody does it, and they learn it. If they don't know it now, they know it. Right. So they learn that, and then what I would do is I said, okay, so anybody can say, that's the way. So if somebody just says, that's the way, then everyone else says, uh-huh, uh-huh, right? And I might start actually modeling it with, I say that's the way, and then I get them to say, uh-huh, uh-huh. So uh-huh, uh-huh becomes a response, right? So you just say, that's the way, and then somebody says, uh-huh, uh-huh. And we probably do that with a whole group first. Or I would model that, I would, I would set that up and kind of teach them that response. And then what I'm really excited about is that I say, okay, anybody can say that, just say it anytime, right? Say it anytime, just say, that's the way. And then everybody has to be listening and then everybody responds with, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. And they can do that, you know, several times. There's no r real rule there. So that's the next iteration, right? Is freedom is the ability for anybody to just, if they feel like it, they can do it. They're, they're welcome to do it. They're free to do it. They get rewarded for doing that because they get a response from, from other people in the group. All right, then what I asked them to do or I invited them to do, and I don't tell people to do anything. I usually say, if you want, you know, you can do this. Here's something else you can do, is that they choose a person in the group directly and they say it right to that person, that's the way, and then that person has to respond, because not everybody will do everything in the group when you just say, you know, you can all do this. And one of the goals I have is to really, I like to push my clients to speak up. A lot of people are working on regaining their voice, uh, regaining their breath support, and communicating. And this is the beginning of purposeful communication so all they have to do is say, uh-huh, uh-huh. But they're, they're being asked by somebody else in the group, not by me. 
And that's also important. So we have a, a, a simple, easy response, but that is almost kind of getting mandatory at this point, right? You've got somebody looking directly at you. That's also socializing. That's also a social connection, but it's more of a direct invitation. It's really a, okay, you got to answer me now because I said, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so it pushes them a little bit more, but there's a really nice social connection there. And then if you were the person who was asked to say, uh-huh, uh-huh, now it's your turn to invite somebody else to say it. And we kind of go around and make sure everybody gets a turn asking and responding. So now I've taken a simple thing that everybody knows. And now we've really, we've gotten more out of it uh, because they've, they're having direct social interactions and they're being pushed a little harder, not by me though, but by each other. And they kind of use it as a way to, you know, they have fun. Some of the clients will actually ask the staff to do it and the staff could have the clients do it. So we involve the staff as well, even though of course I'm there for the clients. Um, but it's a great way to help people connect, make eye contact, push for a response, a more meaningful, meaningful response or a louder response if they're working on regaining their voice um, and just giving everybody a chance. All right. So that's that one. Another one that we did that I, I really think is fun and funnier, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute, is we did shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty, right? And that's the same thing. I'm not going to go through the same process because it's basically the same. So I would say shake, 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 shake. What? Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Or I might even say shake your. And then they, they learn it and then they can fill in the blank. And we call that a fill in the blank song or a completion song. Um, so what that again would look like was shake, shake, shake. And then they might join in on the sh second shake, shake, shake. So shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your, shake your, right? You get the idea. So I'm teaching the song and I'm handing over responsibility uh, of the song slowly to the participants during that process, right? Now that is a funny thing to do, right? <laughs> shake your booty, or sometimes I say glutey. I don't know where that came from, but you can use that one. Shake your booty. So that's a real song. If you don't know it, you can look it up. Now, what we did with that, I'll skip ahead a little. We did some of the same things, of course. So anybody could say shake, 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 shake. And then everybody says shake your booty. Um, but when we did the one where you get to say it to an individual, that's really funny because then they have to stand up and shake their booty or shake it sitting down or something. So same kind of thing as before, but instead of saying, uh-huh, uh-huh, now they have to do something physical. So now we're hitting physical goals. And I mentioned that earlier. We're also making those connections. And it was funnier, you guys. It was so much fun. Um, because one of the clients, you know, he made, she made one of the staff get up and shake, shake his booty. And he was really embarrassed. <laughs> it was so much fun. And it was so much fun to see the clients um, having fun at the, at the staff's expense, <laughs> too. And the staff were having fun. Everybody was having fun. It was really funny. Um, but for me as a music therapist, you know, I, I really appreciate those moments because I'm not there to tell people what to do or to dictate what everybody do, but I'm there to provide opportunities, provide, uh, some guidance, provide inspiration, but that once you get that going, once you can uh, get that going and I'm keeping the beat the whole time, you know, I'm sort of grounding it musically, but as far as handing off the, uh, handing off the activity to them and letting them do it, letting them drive it. And then, and then they had fun with it. And, uh, it was just, it was just a lot of fun and it was so simple. Um, is it necessarily easy to do all of what I just described? No, uh, because there's lots of factors, there are lots of things I haven't even talked about here that you kind of need to know about or need to know, you need to know how to manage the group, what, you don't have to know how to recognize who needs help or, you know, how fast to move, how a lot of things, uh, including musical things, um, how to prompt people, how to give instructions, how to get 
back or recede, you know, kind of move into the background an appropriate amount, but still be there. There's a, there's a lot going on. But I wanted to share that with you because it was just something that I felt was very fun and effective. That happened today, so I thought maybe you would want to know that. And if you didn't know those songs, um, go look them up. They're both great songs. Uh, and uh, if you do any of those activities, you know, I hope they go well. And if you'd like to learn more uh, about that kind of thing, from me, you can do that at patreon.com slash Kalani, where we do get into some therapeutic music making, or just for fun, you know, it doesn't have to be for therapy. I'm a music therapist, but if you're not a music therapist, you can still do these things. It's just fun, right? Do it at a at a camp, campfire, uh, a retreat, family gathering, whatever, retirement home. <laughs> they would have a lot of fun with that. All right. So that's what I have for you in this video. Like I said, you can connect with me more at patreon.com slash Kalani or send me a message at kalanimusic.com. Thanks for watching. This is World Drum Club. See you in a future video.